I get a lot of um, male, particularly wombats, full-grown wombats that people have tried to raise or have raised them and um, then they start getting attacked, they start eating their house, um, they come to me usually pretty humanized so I have to turn them into wild wombats. Um, all wombats bite, males more so. Uh, once they get to 20 kilos, all they want to do is be free. They don't want to be in a pen or in your house. Um, they will attack everybody. Um, and that's usually when they come to me or they get dumped. A lot of people think they can just dump a wombat in the bush. They don't survive. They usually show up at someone else's house. We get a lot of phone calls for dump wombats and then we have to bring them here, train them to be wild, try to train them to be wild. <laughs> I find with um, members of the public, they always feed the wrong milk. They always use cow's milk, which is a no-no. It can actually kill them. Um, this little girl was a member of the public. She actually nearly died. Um, they flooded her lungs with also with milk. So um, she was on oxygen in a humidity period for over a week. Um, a lot of people think, oh, there's a baby wombat, it's going to be cute and cuddly and let's take it home. They don't realise it's around the clock feeding. Um, she was actually three hourly feeds when she first come in. Um, once their lungs are flooded, they usually do die, but we, are, we just got her in time and we'll be able to save her. Um, later down the track, she might have organ damage. We don't know yet, but as far as... Um, as of today, she's been doing pretty well, so I'm quite happy with her. People have just got to remember not to try to raise wildlife themselves. Join a group if you want to and get the proper training to do it properly. Majority of the wombats that we've raised or come in young get released specifically from here. Um, they've got the option to come back. Um, then I can um, check their microchip. They're all microchipped. They're all written in a book. Um, if they've had bad mange and they've come back and they're still healthy, I can prove that um, our treatment does work. The microchips do, is very costly to do. Every wombat has to be gassed down to be microchipped. You can't shove a, a microchip in every wombat. They're not like a dog. Um, they do have to be gassed down. We get asked that a lot and people think you can just shove a microchip in a wombat. If you know the build of a wombat, you can't shove anything in their neck. Not that they've got a neck. <laughs> every every wombat um, that we do here gets soft release. So soft release is when we open the gate and we let them have the choice of coming and going. Um, we leave that pen and gate open for at least a week to two weeks. They can come and go as they please. If they get scared, they're still there. Um, hard release, which we totally do not believe in, and a lot of people would do, do it still, is actually dumped in the bush. Um, they might hang around with that wombat to see if it walk off. Um, from our research that we've done, a lot of those um, wombats don't make it because other wombats will attack it. Um, soft release is, is the way to go, and it's safer.